These are the kinds of challenges that we will all face. And many companies are negotiating their ways now between what can be allowed on the side of open, free information and what must still be protected in the public interest. These rules and policies are not going to be set. We know that there'll be a disruption to each policy put in place, but how do we look at them and re-examine them in the light of public interest? Because it's not just those of us who depend on social media and Facebook for our connections to our family, for me, my children and grandchildren, or who you know, keep Twitter in the background for our news and information now instead of the news networks we used to watch. Um, and who even uh, sometimes with my husband are emailing after we promised under the covers to turn out the lights. We know that we can't put this back in a bottle. The world has changed. Recently, though, I saw such good examples of the changes for positive influence in our world that I wanted to share just three quick ones with you. They were the coming together of entrepreneurs, designers, facing, looking at a need, and finding a new solution. In Kenya, a mobile entrepreneur created a new technology, a software, that he could give to rural farmers in Kenya, particularly the tea and coffee farmers who were being cheated regularly at the market and then again at the bank. He gave them this software into these smartphones, and when they arrived with their beans at the market, they weighed them, and on their app, it told them exactly how many pounds of beans had been delivered. Before, they had no way of knowing. And when they went to the bank, there wasn't an exchange of money, which again, usually cheated them. The money went into their mobile banking system. This has economically empowered and provided transparency and accountability in a society that did not have any of those before. And Kenya is well on its way, many people believe, through mobile technology to becoming the first cashless society on Earth. In the Congo, where there's a violent conflict, where millions of women and children have already been victimized, a technology company, a mobile company, and the Yushisidi platform came together and came up with a, a test system so that the women and girls who must go into the forest where the rebel forces live and perpetrate these attacks, that on these phones they were given was a map which alerted them to GPS system tracking where the rebel forces were and an alert system that allowed them to alert each other to escape danger. In these two instances, Technology, innovation, disruption, coming together are empowering people economically and, in fact, saving lives.